Welcome science lovers. My name is Bruce Alcor and today we are going to do an experiment using an everyday item that many of you would love to eat, a hard boiled egg. And we are going to demonstrate using this hard boiled egg a principle of plate tectonics of all things. So as you think about that I want you to draw your attention to this textbook that I will be using Exploring Creation with Physical Science by Dr. J. Weil. And this is written for grade 9, 10 level uh, approximately to cover general science. Today of course we're doing an aspect of Earth study, crossed lithosphere, athenosphere, and geophysical science. And if you have the textbook, please turn with me to page 144. And of interest first is this diagram toward the bottom of the page, figure 6.3. And this diagram demonstrates by the use of an oval uh, portrayal of the Earth, including the uh, continents and the oceans. It will portray the uh, current state of uh, plate tectonics. Now this is a general one, so if you study geology textbooks you'll actually get a lot of course, a lot more detail. But this one generally outlays the different major plates. And the idea here is that is these plates that make up the Earth's crust move. And they move on top of what is called the athenosphere. I'll say that again, athenosphere. Not an easy one to pronounce. But it has a layer in it, or it is mostly composed of molten rock, which we saw uh, in another experiment I did, 6.2, is that the molten rock in the earth, especially at this level, can act in a funny way with pressure applied to it. Sometimes it acts perfectly molten and liquidy, other times it will harden and act more like a solid. So this sets up the dynamics for plate tectonics. The plates, of course, are in what is called the lithosphere. The lithosphere rides on the asthenosphere and creates movement. So, we're going to demonstrate that with the egg. Experiment 6. Point four. Demonstrating plate tectonics with a hard-boiled egg model. Let me rest my textbook and take up this egg right here. I have a hard-boiled egg and I'm going to use a marker bearing in mind that of course I am no artist. Now I'm going to draw approximately a bit of an oval as best as I can about this size. So I've drawn it with my marker. I hope that's nice and visible to you. And I'm going to uh, cap the marker. That way it doesn't dry out. Then I'm going to take a knife. Now if you do this at home, please be careful. And especially you young people, be careful with knives and parents who may assist you or may want to assist you definitely with this. Now what I'm going to do, and I'll do my best to keep the egg tilted toward the camera of course, uh, but I may tilt it back once in a while so I can see what I'm doing. But I'm going to start to put the knife in. And it's okay to hit it a little. Get the cracking started. There we go. And you're going to see, I'm going to run the knife along the lines. Okay. What I'm going to do is essentially separate this whole oval from the rest of the eggshell. And it's okay that there's a bit of cracking. This all will demonstrate the principle involved here. And I go back up toward the top a little bit. If this were the Earth, we would say we're just cracking up and around the North Pole, right? So I take my knife, and now I put it down. Now what I'm going to do is taking my fingers, is I'm going to start putting pressure on this little oval. And notice how it moves up and down quite freely. Notice the action. Up and down, sideways, up and down, and back and forth. Now also notice if I turn the egg and move this oval here, nothing is moving back here, or very little. Okay. So the idea of plate tectonics is that they have some independent movement from each other, essentially as they float in the lithosphere 
uh, Palm Via Cetosphere. Remember, it's got that molten plastic rock that can act like a solid sometimes. So this affects the dynamics of each of the plates. So, there are four aspects to plate tectonics. One of which, of course, is plate separation. And this is demonstrated really well here, where my knife went in a bit deeper, I'll have to confess that I would like it to. But it opens up. Liquid uh, magma will come out, become lava, and creates things like the North Atlantic Rift, the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, between Europe and uh, North America, and between South America and Africa. Also, Iceland's a very good illustration of the plate tectonic separation. You also have uh, plate subduction, and a good illustration of that would be the Cascade Mountains in the United States and Canada, particularly British Columbia and Canada for Canadians. It's one slides under the other, look what happens, and sort of pushes the other side up, creating a mountain chain. Uh, also, it's a high-risk earthquake area. We also have plate collision. I can demonstrate this at the top end here. You can see it. If I push this up, what, look what happens. These, the eggshell over here, particularly, I just knocked it off, but pushes it up. That also create a mountain chain as well. Himalayas are a good illustration of that. And then, of course, there's also plates, plates sliding, where plates slide past each other. And you notice here, as I do that, it creates cracking and uplifting, which creates, of course, another earthquake zone danger. So, that good illustration of that is the San Andreas Fault in California, which again is a high earthquake zone. So, remembering the egg dynamics, and what is happening with the egg, by the way, is the eggshell is riding on the egg white. And the egg white stands for the asthenosphere and the molten rock there, and the eggshell, of course, for the lithosphere, the Earth's crust, resting on the asthenosphere. Now, one more thing to wrap up. I'm going to take up the textbook. Let's look at page 146, and there you have the illustrations in the textbook, figure 6.4, plate separation, and then, of course, you have your plate subduction, and then you have the uh, plate collision, and last but not least, of course, you have the plate sliding, as we illustrated with the egg. So, those are, are the four aspects, or main aspects, of plate tectonics and dynamics. So, as you think about this experiment, uh, just think about how this lowly egg, something that many of us like to eat, can be such a simple thing in God's providence and mercy for us to demonstrate the principles of creation of the earth. Hope you've enjoyed this experimental demonstration. Have a good day and all the best.